Welcome to part five of the LinkedIn Social Selling Playbook for Sales Managers. In this section, we'll be discussing LinkedIn Alerts. So why do you want to use LinkedIn Alerts? Well, first of all, LinkedIn Alerts are a way to potentially get sales leads sent to you weekly and even daily. People that start a new job are more open to making a change to a product or a service within the first three months of starting that new job. One of the things that you can benefit from as a sales manager, even as a salesperson, is that you can beat your competition by getting access to these potential excellent prospects first. So what are LinkedIn alerts? Well, first of all, when you go into the advanced search functionality in LinkedIn, you're going to end up with an advanced people search. When you get it the way you want it to be with the certain results, then what happens is you can go into the upper right-hand corner and hit Save Search. When you do this, what it does is it brings back the ability to name this search and see how often you want to get it sent to you. So in this case, for example, I've been searching on Vice Presidents of Sales in Western Canada. And because of the account that I have, I can only get these weekly. But if you have a higher up premium account, you're, you have the ability to get these delivered to you daily. And then what you do is you check that little checkbox and it'll save it for you. And that's an alert. So what happens is LinkedIn will create these alerts and anyone that changes something in their profile, they're going to make sure that you're aware of this. So how do you look at your results? The first way to do it is LinkedIn will actually send you emails weekly or daily, depending on how you have it set up, on anyone that's changed anything in their profile over the preceding week or the preceding day. So what happens, though, is as a free account, you're only entitled to three weekly. At a premium account, it starts off with seven weekly and could go up to 10 daily. Now, the second way you can do this is you go into advanced search and in the upper right hand corner, you click on the save search and this box will pop up again. And then what you want to do is you can click on any of these numbers where it says new and what it will do is it will bring up those results in LinkedIn so that you can see who has actually changed something in their profile over the last week or the last day. And in this case, what you want to do is when you bring these results up, you want to go through one by one. And it sounds tedious, but it's well worth it. You go through one by one, and then what you do is you look for anyone who has a new position. And a new position to me would be anything that's less than kind of three months. And then you want to reach out to them. So within three months, as I say, a person in a new role is 10 times more likely to make a product or service change. So this is an excellent opportunity for you to focus on the right decision makers, such as vice presidents, CXO level, managers, owners, presidents, in organizations to be able to get your product or service in or at least start having that discussion or having your team having that discussion. So what you wanna do is also you wanna connect with these people if you don't know them and start providing value right off the bat. The, I want to give a special thanks to Craig Elias, who wrote the book Shift Selling, for this information as well. Now that you've set up LinkedIn alerts to find ideal prospects, you have to figure out a way to reach out to these ideal prospects. So the first way and one of the quickest ways, if you're not connected with these individuals, is find out anyone that has a premium account and see if you can direct message them. And... I've found that senior level people have a premium count at almost twice the amount than just junior level people. And what I did was I did a scenario where I looked at the first 100 results on sales reps in Calgary or people with sales in their title in Calgary. And then I looked up vice president sales and director sales in Calgary. And the people in the vice president and also the director level had a premium account at twice the rate of just regular sales reps. So the other way that you can get in to see this person or, or get an introduction is to actually leverage LinkedIn's introduction functionality. So when you're on someone's profile, if they're a second level connection, even a third level connection, but a second level connection, you're going to see how you're actually connected to this person. And what you can do is you can reach out to any of these connections and 
see how you can actually get introduced into Michael. A free account that gives you five of these every month. A premium account gives you 25 of these. I also find a better way, instead of using this functionality in LinkedIn, is that you should just go directly to email and you would connect with any of your connections and say, hey, do you know this person? Is there any way that you might be able to facilitate a introduction to this person? I'm trying to get in. Here's the benefit that I provide. Here's a blurb that you can send this person. Do you mind doing that for me? Another way is also if you have a premium account, you can send an in-mail or you may have to buy in-mail credits to be able to send an in-mail directly to that person. And one last way is you can actually try to connect directly with them, but the chances of that actually working may be slim uh, to none. Now, the sales manager's tips here, first thing I do is I'd sit down with your team and look at what is it they're selling into or what's the area that they're selling into. And then each person, based on their parameters, start setting up these LinkedIn alerts for them. And as a manager, you should look at doing this yourself too. Secondly, what you should do is review these results with your team members on a regular basis. So if you have weekly or bi-weekly sales meetings, my suggestion would be to even pop on and go through and see if you found anyone new through LinkedIn this way. And then last but not least is you should share any success stories that you find on this so that it keeps the other team members motivated to keep doing this sort of stuff. So if you'd like to reach out to me, feel free to reach out. At, I'm Chris Hamilton. You can reach me at chris at salestipaday.com. And my phone number is 403-630-1243. Feel free to call me uh, in North America at that number. If you're outside of North America, then you know best bet, probably email me. Love connecting with people on LinkedIn, so feel free to reach out and connect with me on LinkedIn. My direct link is ca.linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash Chris Hamilton CA.